they have to get their education. Five, six hours. Really? Yes. And not only that, but there's no guarantee that Monday is going to be another day that these kids can get these computers. Okay, because I was just told that. So I asked them about what happens to no child left behind. What happens to that? If the kids don't, if parents can't make it here or they, they missed out, they don't get a computer, they, they're, they're out. They don't have one. She said, this is the last day. If you don't get it, there is not going to be any more. You don't have any more? Right now at all locations. Check your email for further detail. That's all I can say. We knew we we have 19,000 students enrolled, and you know 10,000 about 10,000 count for devices, right? So we tried we try very hard to prioritize for high schoolers, um, and it's still a challenge because that means that even with 10,000 devices, the remaining you know thousands of students are going to require a print-based material, um, and so that comes with added challenges as well. We are distributing um, under the COVID-19. We have the ability to do emergency feeding because we're no longer feeding in the schools. On Wednesday, we distributed out 13,000 breakfasts and 13,000 lunches. So today we're anticipating serving 21,000 of each, which is significantly uh, higher than we anticipated doing this packaging this way. During the school year, we serve about 18 to 20,000 lunches a day. So the numbers aren't scary to me, but they are scary in this way that we're doing it today. Um, it's USDA funded. And so these meals do meet the meal pattern regulations that you need to during the school day. I have staff working, uh, 100 people working to try and get this out for these families when we're being told to stay in so their safety is at the top of my worry list and making sure that we're doing very good social distancing and packaging these meals, finding meals that we can put together that don't require us standing so close together, figuring out how do we get this food packaged and ensuring that I can get it in that pipeline because now we're buying stuff wrapped that we normally wouldn't buy wrapped. So ensuring that we can actually get our manufacturers to understand we still need 7,000 portions of this every week and we're actually looking looking at our April, May uh, menus now to make sure that the manufacturers and that I can get product in. It's overwhelming. 